Welcome to the kitchen. Today we're gonna to make an Irish potato leek and chicken pie. So we're gonna use some of these beautiful Yukon gold potatoes. I have these gorgeous leeks, celery, onion, Dijon mustard, olive oil. We're gonna make a bechamel with our flour, butter, and milk. We're gonna season it with some beautiful tarragon, our chicken, some baby bella mushrooms, peas, onions, so let's get everything measured and we'll start mustard in two tablespoons of our chopped tarragon. Now you can use thyme or sage in this recipe, whichever you prefer, and today we're gonna use tarragon. I have our potatoes cut into nice small cubes and we have them sitting in cold water. Whenever you cut your potatoes, keep them in cold water so they don't turn gray or brown. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna parboil them in some water. So I've got this water going on high heat. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. And as soon as it comes to a boil, we're gonna add the potatoes and cook them until they're just a bit tender. I'm cutting my chicken into bite-sized pieces. So small chunks about this size. Here we have our beautiful leeks. So we're gonna get them washed. And the best way to do it is usually you just slice down the middle. Because then that'll open up this area and you can get out any of the dirt that's inside. So I'm going to rinse these off and then we just want to slice, nice thin slices. Here we have all of our vegetables mise en place ready. These were already parboiled. We have our, our mushrooms and I sliced them this thick. We have all of our leeks that we chopped up, our celery, which I did a small chop, our onions, and now we are gonna, our chicken, we already had this in the refrigerator, I just took it out. We prepped that ahead of time and we're gonna start making it. So here's our olive oil and we're gonna get it into our pot. We're gonna put on medium high heat. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of olive oil and we're gonna saute our onions. So we're gonna get that warm up, spread the oil around. Once that warmed up, we're gonna add in our onions and we're gonna to continue to saute them until they're translucent, at which point we're gonna add in our leeks and our celery. We've got some color now on our onions, so we're gonna add in our leeks, our beautiful leeks and saute those. And then we're gonna saute in our celery. We're gonna do this first. Once that has wilted, I'll add the celery. All right, now I'm gonna add in our celery get those sauteed as well. Here are our beautiful leeks all sauteed with the onions and celery and I'm going to remove these out of our pan into a bowl. Set that aside and then we're going to warm up our pan and add a little more olive oil and our mushrooms. I'm also going to add in a tablespoon of butter. We've got our tablespoon of butter and our tablespoon of olive oil and we're using the same pan that we just sauteed our leeks, onions, and celery in. You don't need to wipe it out. We want all of those flavors in there. And once this is melted, we're gonna add in our mushrooms and saute them. All right, our butter is melted. Let's add in all those mushrooms and we'll saute them. It'll probably take eight minutes. So I'm gonna stir it every so often, but I don't wanna break up all the mushrooms. While our mushrooms are sauteing, I've got another saucepan on the stove and we're gonna heat up some olive oil and now we're gonna brown our chicken meat. So this is all of our chicken chopped up. We get that brown. Our mushrooms are done being sauteed. They have a beautiful golden brown color on them. And our chicken, we've gotten our chicken fully cooked with a nice golden brown color on it too. And I'm gonna remove the chicken from this pot and then we'll start making our bechamel in this pot. And that way the flavor of the chicken from the bottom of the pot will infuse into our sauce. To start our bechamel, we're gonna melt four tablespoons of butter. And then to that, when it's melted, we're gonna add four tablespoons of flour. I'm out of the flour and now we're gonna stir this for two minutes. We wanna cook the flour. We wanna get rid of any of those lumps. So we're gonna cook this for two minutes and then we're gonna add our milk. We cook that for two minutes and now we're gonna add in our milk. Bring it to a boil and then continue to stir again for another two minutes while this beautiful sauce thickens. 
There's our beautiful tarragon, and I'm just gonna chop up. We're gonna cut up this, and we need two tablespoons. Here is our beautiful bechamel. See how beautiful that is? And it's gotten thick, and we're gonna add now to it our ingredients. I'm adding in my two tablespoons of fresh tarragon, and then we also need to add one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now that got very thick, so I'm actually gonna thin it out with another cup of milk. So I gotta remember to write that down. It was too thick, so we added another cup of milk. We have our chicken, mushrooms, leeks, onions, celery, and we're gonna add in our peas and our parboiled Yukon Gold potatoes. Mix all of that together, and then we'll get it into our baking dish. Here's our nice nine by 13 baking dish. I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And now we're gonna add in, get that in there. Now for the top, we're just gonna use puff pastry. This is Pepperidge Farm puff pastry. It's been sitting out for a while so I can unfold it. And I'm gonna roll this out thinner so we can cover more of this. I rolled out the puff pastry so that's the thickness of our dish and we're just gonna drop it in there and obviously we need a little bit more for this area so I'm gonna get the second sheet out. So we've covered the whole dish with our puff pastry. There's a little seam here but do overlap it a bit. You don't need to worry about crimping it down or anything. Some of the juices may come out but we do wanna make sure that we brush the top with our egg wash. So you wanna make sure you do brush completely covering all of the puff pastry are egg wash. Egg wash is one egg, a tablespoon of water, and a pinch of salt. We've got our egg wash over the top and make sure you put your baking dish on a tray because if it bubbles over, you don't want it to be cleaning your oven as well. The tray will help catch anything that bubbles over. We're gonna put it in a 400 degree oven. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Right out of the oven. It was in there 400 degrees for 35 minutes. Looks fantastic. So as soon as this cools though, I can get it out and serve it. And uh, let's go over the recipe right now. We had two Yukon Gold potatoes, small cubed, two tablespoons of olive oil, two leeks sliced, one medium onion, two stalks of celery sliced, chopped, two cups, and this time I did, um, I didn't do the white button mushrooms, I did the baby bella mushrooms, one pound of skinless chicken breast cubed, one box, eight ounce box of frozen peas, four tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of all purpose flour, two cups of milk, and then I thought it was too thick so I added a third cup of milk afterwards when I added all the other ingredients one tablespoon of Dijon mustard and two tablespoons of tarragon. We use two sheets of puff pastry, Pepperidge Farm frozen puff pastry, and I cut one sheet, so I still have some left over. The egg wash, which is one egg, one tablespoon of water, a pinch of salt, and we brushed over it, and voila. This big casserole dish, and break into it and serve like so. sure you get all that filling underneath. For more recipe demonstrations, please click like and subscribe to Chef Victoria Loves YouTube channel and have fun in the kitchen. Thank you.